do you know what? I think dogs would look much better if they had sharp pointy ears that stuck up on their head or they just had little kind of short nubby ears. Why don't we just cut them off? Well, of course, that's a ridiculous thing to say, but it's actually something that is becoming increasingly common. We should stop mutilating our dogs. Hi, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex from OurPetsHealth.com, where my aim is to bring you the information that you need to optimise your pet's health so that they can live the full and happy life that they deserve. And if you thought I was joking with the intro, well, sadly I'm not. Ear cropping is becoming increasingly common in the UK and it is standard practice in certain parts of the state. So who better to speak to than Cat the Vet to find out more? One thing that I've seen <laughs> you do a lot of recently um, is ear cropping. So this isn't something that I've come across at all. Like I don't, and when I was in the UK, I don't, I don't remember seeing any dog with cropped ears. You know, I could think of it as a, an American issue that, you know, they need to deal with. But yeah, what, what's that all about? Well, yes. And I think you're right. You know, if you left the UK three years ago, you probably weren't seeing very much ear cropping, mm. but we are seeing a huge, uh, a huge increase at the moment. So ear cropping is the practice of chopping off dog's ears. And which is as ridiculous as it sounds when you say that. <laughs> and there's two main types. One is almost exclusively in pedigree bred Dobermans, yep. who uh, the classic sort of American Doberman with a very sticky up, sharp pointed ears and also no tail. Ear cropping is illegal. It is illegal yep. in the UK and it has been illegal for over 100 years. Tail docking is also illegal unless under some very specific circumstances for working dogs. And that legislation is about seven or eight years old yeah. now. Um, but thanks to the Internet and thanks to Instagram and pictures, people, you know, like you say, it's common in America and other countries. And we have got this global, you know, society now. So we are seeing cropped dogs being imported into the UK because people have seen them online and want them. And there's two types of cropping happening. The first is in a small number of pedigree Doberman breeders who believe that this is how a Doberman must look. And so what they are doing, and unfortunately it's absolutely abhorrent, and I cannot believe that anybody thinks it's a good idea, but they're absolutely adamant and completely stuck on this fact. And unfortunately they are, do they are doing it legally and they're using a legal loophole to, for puppies bred in the UK, they export them into Europe where uh, there's uh, ear cropping is also illegal in about 25 different countries in European countries as well. So they're going, these puppies are either being sent a long way or they're being done illegally there. Yeah. They're cropping their ears. They then, the Dobermans are just grim. They then have to stand them in these, like they strap them up on the top of their head like this for weeks to make them stand up. So then not only do they chop the ears off, they then strap them to the top of their head and they chop the tails off just for good measure bring them back into the UK uh, and then sell them. And people want to buy them. And I just, I find that whole concept just so yeah, disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the second lot of dogs that are being done are bullies. So American bulldogs, English, not so new American, English bulldogs, the, the bully breeds. Yeah. So particularly American bulldogs. And they're, they're again, not so many are bred and exported. A lot of them are bred abroad cropped abroad and they chop the ears off to a ridiculous degree like they've got these weird little stubby little ears and they're being brought in but there has been a few convictions in the UK of people doing it illegally and I suspect far more people are doing that now being convicted yes. okay. so vets are seeing cropped dogs yeah. and you know whenever you you know and vets again by the time the dog is in the practice it's too late we can't do anything about it i being me and doing what i do if i see one i'll often go oh that's interesting yeah that's illegal where, where did it get done and i promise you without fail the people go oh he's the rescue we rescued him from romania um he's a rescue yes yeah. rescue yeah. here's his passport and you're like really gosh Gosh, that's, uh, I mean, um, obviously you didn't want a dog with cropped ears, did you though? No, no, you just happened to rescue this one, that this poor cropped dog. That, and you're like, this is just such rubbish. You're just, you're deliberately buying these dogs, but hiding behind the veneer of rescue is an excuse because you know it's illegal. So I am now part of a campaign and we're uh, to try to get the importation of cropped dogs into the UK 
made also illegal which will slam the door shut on a huge number of these crop dogs and also make it much easier to identify the ones that are being illegally done yeah. in the yeah. UK. And also to draw the public's attention to it because there's a huge, whenever I share that piece of information online about ear cropping, people are absolutely revulsed. It's mm. abhorrent. And the UK public in particular, as you know, really very much animal lovers. It's completely abnormal for us you know every so often you get the americans they're like well that's completely normal our dogs look like this and you're like well they shouldn't yeah. but you know it's a slightly different attitude here so there's a huge public swell of opinion against it once you point out what's happening so i think a lot of people just look at a doberman with a pointy ears or a, or a bully breed with no ears at all and go oh that's a dog and then they just walk upon yeah. And then when yeah. you say, actually, the reason it looks like that is because somebody knocked it out, chopped its ears off and woke it back up again. Yeah. Hopefully it was knocked out. Uh, unfortunately, I suspect sometimes they're possibly oh, not. I, think, yeah, I mean, they're being, just, they're being mutilated just... effectively. There's no other word for it. I think our American, um, kind of our American friends are, are, are waking up to a lot of these things as well. If we think of declawing in cats, for example, which, again, is something that just blows my mind that that is a thing. Um, but that's being you know, outlawed in a lot of different states. And I think there is a bit of a change. But if, if you've only ever seen a Doberman with pointy ears, you might not even know that that's actually a surgery. You might think that actually that is how they come out because that's the only ones you've ever seen. Now, if you want to learn more about some of the problems dogs face because of their confirmation, then make sure you check out the video linked on screen now. And until next time, I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex. This is Our Pets Health, because they're family.